let's look at this question. On a plan, an elliptical garden has the equation x squared over 25 plus y squared over 1 is equal to 1. Uh, okay, what did I say? x squared over 25 plus y squared over 9 is equal to 1. On the same plan, a drain has the equation 3x plus 5y is equal to k. For what value of k will the drain not cut the uh, not cut across the garden. So I've drawn, this is the elliptical garden. This is the garden, which is elliptical in shape. Okay, and it has got the equation of x squared over 25 plus y squared over, y squared over 9 is equal to 1. Now, you learn about ellipse uh, later on when you learn conics. I'm not going on to conics. So this is an ellipse and these and this is the line and these two lines are not intersecting the circle. So I want you to think, stop and think, how could I write, how could I draw the line like this? Why didn't I draw this in a slightly different way? So one thing by looking at the line, this k is a constant, so k can be positive or negative. Okay, so yeah, by looking at this equation, I hope you can see that the y-intercept is y-intercept is zero. Sorry, y. This is your y-intercept. Okay, that's related to k. I'll come to that. So let's write the equation of the line first. So the equation of the line is three x plus five y is equal to k. Now, when we write this in gradient-intercept form making 5y the subject, I can write 5y is equal to k minus 3x. I'm dividing both sides by 5, so this is 5y over 5, which is y, is equal to k over 5 minus 3 over 5x. So I hope you know this is the gradient. This is the grad, or this is the gradient. And this is the y-intercept. This is the y-intercept. So this point or this value, can, this value is k over phi, or this value is also k over phi. k can be positive or negative. And I drew this line with a negative gradient because I hope you can see that the gradient is minus 3 over phi, which is negative 0 0.6. So this is a sketch of a line with a gradient of uh, negative uh, 0 0.6. And this is an ellipse. And it says that the drain do not cut the, across the garden. So this line and this ellipse are not intersecting each other. So this is a graphical representation of this question. And now we need to do this algebraically. OK, so what's the equation? The, the equation of an ellipse is x squared over 25 plus y squared over 9 is equal to 1. Okay, so I want to, uh, I know the equation of y in terms of x, or this is the gradient intercept form. So in place of y, I can substitute this whole thing, which is k over 5 minus 3 over 5 x. So how can I do this? So this, can I write this as x squared over 25? Plus, I'll write this as 1 ninth times, times y squared is equal to 1. So in place of y, I can put this. So this is x squared over 25 plus 1 ninth times y can be written as k over k over phi minus 3 fifth x the whole squared. Okay, so in place, this is your y. This is y squared, so this is your y. I hope you understand that. So this is x squared over 25 as it is. Of course, this is equal to 1 x squared over 25 plus 1 ninth. Now what can you factor out? I can factor out, this can be written as 1 fifth times k minus 3x, the whole squared is equal to 1. 
it's long algebraic steps you need to be patient so this is x squared over 25 plus 1 ninth now you have to square this and also this so I'll write one step like this this is 1 over 25 times k minus 3x the whole squared is equal to 1 now I'm going to multiply this too so this will, this will become x squared over 25 plus 1 9 times 1 25th is 1 over 225 times I'm doing more steps so that you understand what is happening so that you don't do mistakes so this is this is x squared over 25 okay plus 1 over 225 times so this is k minus k minus 3x times k minus 3x is equal to 1. I want to make this 225 so I know 25 times 9 is 225 so I'm going to multiply both the top and the bottom with 9 by 9 so this is 9 9x squared over 225 plus 1 over 225 times I'm going to expand this so this is k squared now this is minus 3kx minus 3kx is minus 6kx and minus and minus is plus 9x squared is equal to 1 is equal to 1 you can pause this video at any time and try to do the rest yourself so now I can see 1 over 20 1 over 225 here 1 over 225 so can I write this as 1 over 225 times 9x squared plus 1 over 225 times k squared minus 6kx plus 9x squared is equal to 1. So I can factor out the 1 over 225. If you factor out the 1 over 225, I'll have inside the bracket 9x squared from here plus k squared minus 6kx plus 9x squared is equal to 1. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by 225. So if I multiply this side by 225, I'd also multiply this side by 225. So what will happen? Let me change color. So this and this gets cancelled. What is remaining is 9x. This is 9x squared. So let me directly write. So what is remaining is 9x squared plus 9x squared, which is 18x squared. 18x squared minus 6kx plus k squared minus 225 is equal to zero so what i have done is i've taken away 225 from both sides so the, you've got a zero on the right hand side so now this has ended up with a quadratic equation so this is 8x squared okay so this is a quadratic equation now when you compare this with the standard form of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero which is a standard form of the quadratic equation can i say my a is 18 my b is minus 6k and my c is k squared minus 225 so this is a lengthy example so now we need to go back to the question what does it say the elliptical garden and the drain are not uh, cutting each other so let us write that okay so you can say the garden and drain do not cut each other do not cut what does that mean algebraically okay that means this implies there is no no real solution this means there are no real solution there is no point of intersection now when there are no point of intersection what does this imply this implies 
a very neat result which is called we can say b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. And I hope you can see where this b squared minus 4ac came from. This is from the quadratic formula of x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, this is one of the most famous or the most unliked formula in algebra. And this, so when this becomes less than zero, you have got a radical with a negative inside. And you cannot find square root of a negative number. That's why when no real roots, you can say this b squared minus 4ac, which is also called a determinant, it is also called a determinant. Uh, determinant is less than zero. So let us put the values of a, b, c in this equation. So this becomes minus 6k the whole squared minus 4 times a which is 18 times c which is k squared minus 225 is less than zero. Okay. So this is squaring both of them. So this is 36k squared minus, this is 72 times k squared minus 225 is less than zero. Okay, we are almost there. So I'm going to divide the whole thing by 36. So if I divide this by 36, you can also divide this by, this by 36, and you can also divide this by 36. So what is left over is k squared minus 2 times k squared minus 225 is less than 0. So this is k squared, expanding the bracket, minus 2k squared plus 450 is less than 0. Okay, so this is, okay, I'll come to this. So this is k squared, k squared minus k squared plus 450 is less than zero. So this you can say minus k squared uh, is less than minus 450. So the next step is very important. Uh, this means multiplying both sides by negative one. So this is minus one times minus k squared and minus 450 times negative 1. So you should remember when you're multiplying a negative when there's an inequality, this inequality changes from less than to greater than. So you're left with k squared is greater than 450. Okay, this means you can say k squared minus 450 is less than 0. Okay, now I've drawn so let me uh, do a side explanation here. Yeah? Say, when you have an equation like this, k squared minus 450 is equal to 0. Okay, so let us first take this as a quadratic equation. From this, I can say k, k squared is equal to 450. k squared is equal to 450. So k is equal to plus or minus square root of 450. That means this quadratic equation will intersect your, this is your, this is your y-axis and say this is your k-axis. This is your k-axis. So your k will become minus 450 minus square root of 450 and plus square root of 450. Plus square root of 450. Uh, uh, that will become zero. Uh, this graph of k squared minus 450 will become zero when k is uh, minus four square root of 450 and plus square root of 50. And you can also say that the y-intercept is plus 450. Okay, let us graph this just to explain what it means. Suppose go to graphic calculator, go to graph, okay, and type in x squared. You, can, you can't type in k squared minus 450. Okay, your y, you need to change your scale. I'll go from minus 100 to plus 100. 
scale of say 10 and uh, I need to change my y scale from say minus 10 no I have to go from minus 500 because this sorry this is minus 450 this is minus 450 so I have to have a scale of minus 500 to say plus 10 scale of 50 and then I'll show you the graph this is your graph okay oh. so this is your y-intercept is four minus 450 and G if you go to uh, your root one this is minus 450 and if you scroll to the right this will be plus 450 okay so that's fine so now we need to understand this inequality so what are we what have we got this is a quadratic equation we have got k squared minus 450 is greater than zero sorry this has to be greater than zero okay so we have got this inequality for k squared minus 450 is greater than zero now you have to use your logic when would this parabola become greater than zero at this point it is equal to zero your y value is equal to zero at this point now between these two points your y value is less than zero we are interested where is your y value greater than zero so that means we're interested in this branch of the graph at this part of the graph your y value is greater than zero or your y value or k squared minus 450 is going to be greater than zero okay so we can say this implies k is either less than minus 450 okay when it is less than minus 450 your k squared minus 450 will be greater than zero or k should be greater than square root of 450 so these are the two values of k where your values will in other words this these two points this is uh, this is of course k over phi so this value will be uh, so this value let's find the exact value to give you a perspective of this so minus 4 minus square root of so this will be a plus value so shift square root of 450 divide by phi okay that will be uh, or this is a negative value so minus 4.24 in 2 dp so this value when k is uh, minus 4.24 so this is minus 4.24 and this will be plus 4.24 okay so when you have values when k is the greater than this okay or this exact when this is this value or greater than this you will have the line not cutting the elliptical guard